right, are you all ready? Good to go? Yep, this is all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I got. I got. <laughs> Lisa, you call yourself a torch carrier. So what responsibility does someone like Brianna have when it comes to carrying that torch? We are all connected in some ways, and so we have to understand the history of both the WNBA, the history of USA basketball, and there was like some bad women who played way before us who didn't have the platform, who didn't have the exposure. Ann Donovan, Ann Myers, uh, Cheryl Miller, Pat Pitt Summit. I mean, the list is so long that you'd have to name all of these women who paved the way for us. I felt, yes, I'm a torch carrier. Those women carried, carried it as far as they could. I took it and I ran with it. I understood the importance of being a good role model. I wouldn't be playing with Team USA or in the WNBA without Lisa, you know, and without what she's done. The ones before us helped the WNBA get so far and we're gonna continue to build it up for the ones that are coming after us. Brianna, you deserve a major round of applause for everything the WNBA did to flip the Senate. The fact is that we have strength in numbers and we continue to um, represent one another. And I think, you know, having the opportunity to help Reverend Warnock encourage people in the state of Georgia to vote was something that was super, super important. But it's crazy, you know, it's crazy because, <laughs> you know, you have the people on Instagram who are like, oh, they can't play, they can't do this, that, and the other. And then it's like, bang, we just flipped the Senate, you know, like, <laughs> help do that. <laughs> One thing that we do with Old School New School is we have you all build a starting five featuring yourself. So you have, so Brianna, you have to build a starting five featuring old school players. And Lisa, you have to build a starting five featuring the new school players. Old school is like not playing, right? <laughs> yeah, not playing. And I'm going with current, correct? Yes. That's playing. You're going with current. Okay, Lisa, you're up. Okay, I would never leave the country without Diana Taurasi and Sue Bird. There's a few of y'all that's all so great. I mean, Maya Moore hasn't played in a while. I Can I take Stewie or Stewie can't be on my team? Um, let's say just because she's doing her team, she can't be on your team. Yeah. Okay, fine. So if I leave Stewie at home... I'll be manager. <laughs> okay, you manage my team. I got to take Candace Parker with me. Della Dunn. Who do I have this far? Like, I think we have five now. <laughs> I have Diana, Sue, Maya Moore, Candace Parker, and Della Dunn. But you're on the team, too. Yeah, you're... Oh, on am the... I in it? Yes, no. you're in it. You're playing, you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'm gonna let Della down Southern for me. I'm gonna go ahead and rock with y'all in the post, or if you need me outside, let me know what you need. I got whatever you need. Brianna, you're up. So I can't have Lisa. You cannot choose Lisa. Wait, what? Oh, that's, that's a messed up rule. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take me with the host. Girl, what? <laughs> um, Dawn Staley. Can I go with Catch? You can, yes, yes. I'll let you, you can, you can put her in there, yes. Ed Kiss got you some rebounds, blocks, you're hitting three, she's gonna work Kiss hard. All over the place, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lauren Jackson, I'm not sure she's technically old school, but she's not playing. Yeah, she's old school. I need a post player. Help me, Lisa, I can't pick you, so. Oh, Tina, you didn't get Tina Thompson? Oh my God, I'm bugging, see? There you go, boom. Which player from your generation does Brianna most remind you of? I would say she's a mix of uh, of me and, and Lauren Jackson and uh, a little bit of Candace Parker, too. She has amazing skills. She's inside out. I feel like her game is a, a lot like mine, but a little bit more on steroids in terms of open court. Because they wouldn't give me the opportunity to do that stuff. Back in the day, I had to make the outlet. Just go do your thing. So it's not that I couldn't do it. It's just the thing that's holding you back. Sorry, Dawn. I got the ball. I'm going to bring it up. Exactly. <laughs> I love your your tenacity, your work ethic. And you're not even though you don't even seem mean though. I mean you have a lot of success without being mean, because I was kind of mean. But I don't know. You might be out there low-key talking trash. What you saying out there? <laughs> when you get into that zone and you're playing, like that's the only thing you're focused on, and you're focused on uh dominating and being the best. And it's it's more so the competitiveness. Um, and wanting to win and, and helping your teammates rather than, you know, realizing uh, what persona I'm, I'm kind of giving off. 
you know, the way that I am in person is the way that I am on the court and continue. Really? I don't know. I feel like I, I like to have fun and compete. That's awesome. I am not the same person. In basketball, I'm like, oh, I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win. I want my teammates to win. I got a question. Yeah. So when you play like games at home, are you are you that person or are you the the chill Lisa? Oh no, I'm I'm too competitive. People are mad because I like got winning dances and then I want to turn on music and like you know just. <laughs> I try to chill out, and then I was like, I don't know why I'm like this. I'd be apologizing to my husband later. <laughs> Do you play a lot of games, Brianna? Yeah, if I lose, I'm I'm mad. And just don't yeah. talk for five minutes. Like, just exactly. let me, like, work it out real quick. <laughs> and then I'm mad. We're the same. It's official. There's a dynasty in the WNBA. How do you define what a dynasty is? I mean, I think it's it's so tough to define a dynasty, and I think that. You know, obviously, when people think of Dynasty, you think of just winning all the time and, you know, having that group continue to come back. You know what a Dynasty is? USA Basketball. That's a Dynasty. Mm. That's for sure. That's mic drop right there. <laughs> this, for me, was just such an enlightening conversation. It was great to hear, you know, from two different generations about how the game has evolved, how it has grown, the talent that is there. But honestly, my favorite thing was just this mutual respect between you two. I really loved hearing you guys talk about each other in such an admirable way. So I've enjoyed this. And thank you so much for joining Old School New School. Thank you for having us as well. Brianna, I wish you the best. I'll see you out there on the court. I'll be watching. <laughs>